Yudashamase. Hello and once again welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. Once again, it's Shoot 'em Up Saturday. On the menu today, we've got a game from the Gradius Collection. Specifically, I'll be going and playing Gradius Gaiden today, a title that was originally unavailable before the release of the Gradius Collection in the North American region. It was originally released for the PlayStation back in 1997. Well, let's get cooking. Alright, here we are at the select game screen for the Gradius Collection. The collection itself goes and comprises five titles from the Gradius series. The original Gradius, Gradius 2, Gradius 3, Gradius 4, all of which are ports of the original arcade versions, and then the PlayStation Gradius Gaiden. Let's try it out. Okay, Gradius Gaiden was released in, by Konami in 1997 on the PlayStation, but it only got a release in Japan. Uh, we'll have a look at the options, make sure everything's good. Uh, I'm going to bump the lives up to 5 and change the key config so that my shot and missile are on the same button. Just a personal preference as far as the Gradius games are concerned. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Alright, so first off, we've got a cho choice of four different fighters. The classic Vic, Vic Viper from the Gradius series, the Lord British, which was originally introduced in um, Life Force slash Salamander, if I'm not mistaken, and then two that are unique to this game, the Jade Knight and the Falchion Beta. Uh, each one goes in. The primary difference between all the different um, fighters are the type of uh, missiles that they go and have, the type of double, and then the type of lasers that they go and use. Uh, for my purposes, well, just for personal preference, I'm just going to go ahead and pick the Jade Knight. Alright, then we go and get to choose what kind of barrier we want. There's the front to see facing shield, the force field which goes and is uh, completely surrounds the ship, this new barrier which goes and uh, can, uh, covers you from data damage from the top and the bottom, and then this one which I believe is momentary invulnerability for um, three seconds. It could be useful in certain situations, but for my money I'm going to go with the barrier. Force field. Force field. Power up select, manual or semi auto, manual is definitely the way to go with this game. Then gauge edit. This is one of the unique features of this particular title that it ha can't be found in any other Gradius title. The ability to actually go and edit your gauge. So, I don't really use the ring laser, we're going to move that to the end. That'll go and place our shield in the third slot, which is just awesome. We'll go ahead and place the laser second, and... Uh, it looks pretty good. Alright, here we go. Um, just real quick, I think for today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and try and get through stage three. Um, I wonder if I should go and demo another ship. No, we'll go ahead and just see what we can go and do with the Jade Knight. Alright, here we go. Okay. Stage 1, Beyond the White Storm. So, if you're going and a fan of shoot 'em ups at all, I hope you'd at least be a little bit familiar with Gradius and the systems that it goes and has brought to the whole genre. Um, the primary feature of the game itself are all these power-ups that you go and all these, well, I guess not power-ups, or maybe power-ups, these little power-up icons that go and move your um, cursor on the power-up bar. As you go and get further along the power-up bar, you're able to go and select which weapons you want to go and upgrade to. So now I'm in, like, super awesome mode. At least I kind of feel that way. I've got level 2 laser, which admittedly is also something unique for this particular um, Gradius title, is rather than just go and have a single level of everything, you've got uh, lasers and the um, missiles in particular have a total of two levels that they go and upgrade through. So I've got like level 2, 
Level 2 Pulse Lasers and Level 2 Spread Bomb. Brr, this stage is going to making me cold. <laughs> Alright, now we've got options. The options in the Gradius game just go and give you an extra buddy that goes and kind of um, trails after you and deals extra damage, dropping both bombs and firing whichever weapon you're going and using. Super, super useful. And I believe we can get up to four, so we're up to two. That's definitely an awesome start. So one thing I can definitely go and s oh crap I lost my force field. One thing I can definitely go and say about this title is its visuals are just absolutely stunning. Um, for the time that it came out, there are definitely a lot of awesome shoot 'em ups on the PlayStation era. This one in particular, just goes and has some drop dead gorgeous. All right. It seems a little unfair for us to go and attack from behind, maybe even a little bit cowardice, but hey, that's what the voice says, so that's what we go and do, right? So the stage one boss, I'm not sure its name, but it's obviously some sort of crazy white snow slug that goes and dives around throwing snowballs and lasers at us. I have to admit, it's not necessarily the most effective Alright, that was almost too easy. Not the most effective enemy ever, but who's to judge? One thing that's awesome about this one, there's no loading time. It drops you straight into the next stage. Requiem, let's see, for the Revengers? Oh, so uh, the power-ups, if you go and get the blue power-up, that's just... Uh, uh, essentially a mega crash, you'll see, that just goes and kills all the small fry on the screen and goes and deals damage to larger enemies, if there happen to be any. Definitely useful. Alright. I do believe we are completely powered up. Full power, yo. try and save up just enough for a new force field if I go and lose the one I'm currently on. So rather than the ice planet that the last stage was on, this one goes and takes place in some sort of crazy space graveyard. Uh, for those that are familiar with the uh, Gradius series, especially three, um, specifically three and uh, up, you might possibly go and notice or um, recognize some of the ships that are, let's see, make up the background as uh, enemies that used to go in, or enemies from Gradius, from other great games in the Gradius series. So, I don't know about you, but I love this kind of thing where you've just got a little bit of homage to the rest of this franchise tossed in there. So at that point, it, it went and gave us a choice to go and pick an upper or a lower route. I decided to go lower, no particular reason, just because. I definitely feel like we're in the realm of almost overpowered here, but that can change at a, like at a moment's notice. Just a little bit of... A little bit of like reckless, like flying, and we'll go and be a toast. Um, Gradius is one of those games where if you don't have any power ups at the moment, um, one hit and you're out. Wow, this is kind of perfect. Three. Oh, the, the power up icons disappeared. I was hoping they'd go and stick around so I could go and get another charge on my force field. Aw, oh, man. That boss totally went and whacked me with his tentacles. All right. Ooh. Just enough for lasers in the force field. All right, stage two's boss. 
This little guy goes and uses his tentacles to go and pull up junk to go and defend itself. Going and making it not easy to access its core, and it also uses those tentacles to attack us. That's what um, killed me in my last run, so I'll see if I can go and be a little bit more careful and go in and dodge those. No speed, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to level up as good as I was last time. Pulse lasers and force field. <laughs> Let's see if I can not waste it this time. Alright. That's what I'm trying to do, that's what I'm trying to do. So I tell you, that's like... Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to go and be rep the voice represent your ship or just like the game itself, but it certainly is pushy, you know? Come on. Alright, uh, we have access to the core now, so this might hopefully... <laughs> hard to go down. Uh, one way you can go and tell the amount of damage you've gone and done on the core is the color that it is. Right now it starts out purple, but as it goes and gets closer to being defeated, I believe it will go and transition to red. It looks like it's starting to go and change shades. That's perfect. Avoid the tentacles. So far, so good. We've almost got it. And... Nope, nope. I thought I had it. Ah, there we go. Defeated. Alright. That is stage two. Moving on to stage three, into the crystal cage. Let's see if I can actually get back up to full power here. Alright, Pulse Lasers level 2. We need to go and get bombs, and then we'll focus on getting all our options loaded up. UFO coming. Bomb. These little enemies here are kind of neat. They go and reflect a shot. Oh, dang it. I wasn't even able to take it down. Now the theme of this particular stage is some sort of crystal world. It's uh, actually um, strikingly beautiful for... Let's see, a game I go and fill and everything... The crystals are just gorgeous, but if you actually go and watch... There's actually causing effects to both my shots and the enemy's shots. If it's lasers going to happen to go and hit a crystal... Oh, dang it, I let that guy get away. If it's lasers going to hit a crystal, or if mine do, they go and refract through it. It's uh, really a super neat effect that just goes and adds... It's just a really nice... Mm, touch a great like uh, attention to detail on the part of the development team. I would have liked it if maybe they'd gone and tried to have incorporated some more colors into the crystals themselves, but as is. It's like, you know, if you could go and travel the galaxy and visit, like, uh, all kinds of places, wouldn't this be a place you'd want to go and visit? Minus all the, like, enemies that are trying to go and fill your brain with itty-bitty pellet shots. Oh, dang it. That was lame. I went and lost my force field because I went and bumped up against. Well, I have no defense on that one. That was just me being careless.
power drone be a little bit of a tough. Pulse laser level two. Deficit to go and overcome. I'm not sure if I'll be able to go and get back up to full power by the time we go and get to the boss of this stage. I maybe want we'll to try. Okay, we're gonna put a force field. Force field and laser level two, I think. Uh, we took a hit. Also, the sound effect as the crystals go and crash into each other is definitely fun. Bing! <laughs> Alright, here we are, stage three's boss. Shoot the center. Truth be told, I can't remember if this, there was slowdown to this extent on the original PlayStation version, or if this is unfortunately just a limitation of the PSP, but um, I'm not complaining. It goes and actually makes it possible for us to go and dodge all those shots. Small favors, I suppose. One thing that I can definitely go and say, the rainbow beams and oh, of that boss, it's definitely a beautiful boss. Maybe I shouldn't go and be complimenting the boss in like that kind of a fashion, but lame. Speed up. Hold laser. Maybe it's not such a bad thing, you know, it's like, say, hey boss dude, I think you're a really awesome looking boss dude, can you, let's see, politely not kill me? <laughs> it probably doesn't work like that, does it? Alright, I don't think I'm going to be getting any more options, so let's go ahead and take Pulse Laser Level 2. that beautiful rainbow color scheme of those like evil beams of death gotta love it as long as they you know, don't kill you so this boss might go and take a little bit of time to go and take down if you can go and see in front of the core there's four shields that we need to go and get through one's down so progress at the very least I think going with level 2 pulse laser was definitely the right call even if we just have our own ship, at least it allows us to go and deal that much more damage. Alright, two shields down. Halfway, well, to the core. If this one was going and moving at full speed, all the time. I'm not sure if I'd be... One moment. Uh, well, my mic. <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right. I think we're back in business. Where was I? Uh, yeah, truth be told, if this was going and moving at uh, full speed, I don't think I'd be doing as good as I am doing right now. And even then, I don't feel I'm doing that great. We're almost there, though. One more shield, and we're to the core just need to go and stay focused and not fall prey to any of these um... what do they go and look like? they totally reminded me of something uh... little glow sticks, yeah! you know the kind you always get for like summer events or Halloween or that kind of thing that was close 
Alright, all the shields guarding the core are destroyed, so now we're just going and dealing damage on the core itself. A few more shots, and hopefully... Come on, come on, it's changed up its pattern a little bit. <laughs> Bye, Rainbow Dude. It's like, you were truly an awesome boss. Stage 4, Ruins of Silence. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode there for this week. I really go and uh, appreciate uh, the, or I really appreciate you going and joining me for a Shoot 'em Up Saturday. Uh, once again, if you have any suggestions for Shoot 'em Ups that I can go and play in future episodes, please feel free to go and leave those in the comments below. And thank you so much for going and joining me for this. We'll hope to see you again.